Hi and welcome to another episode of Riemann Studio Tricks. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a sequence on the Novation Peak in combination with the Cork SQ1 for the genre Electro. Let me explain what I did here. I started with only one oscillator and a little bit of oscillator 3, which I will explain later. So let's focus on oscillator 1. And this crazy sample and hold electro sounds. What this is, is um, a sample and hold LFO, synced, um, going to the pitch of oscillator 1. So you go to mod, modulation, in this case slot 1, LFO 1, goes to filter frequency of uh, oscillator 1, and the depth is 44. And very important to get exactly that sound, you go to LFO, LFO1, and you see there's a slew rate. Slew is kind of a glide, so when a sample and hold goes up and down very quickly, it smoothens out that movement. And you know sample and hold is... Um, random in this case so it takes random samples of a noise and it goes to the pitch in our case and the cool thing is you can use this for a break or an intro of an electro track so imagine a electro beat underneath and if you reduce the LFO on the pitch you can introduce the harmonic content again. So the oscillator will play simply the melody. There is another modulation on oscillator 1. So we go to mod um, and slot 1. It's again LFO 1. So the sample and hold um, with the slew rate goes to the filter as well. Um, in this case, um, it's only plus, so, so it moves the filter only up. And uh, in, in case of the pitch, if we go to slot 2, it says LFO plus minus. That means that the LFO or the sample and hold, um, in this case, um, moves the frequency up and down. So there's a little bit of difference uh, with that plus and minus. And the second oscillator plays a kind of bass sound. So let's say we are in the harmonic setting. So that would be the lead of the track maybe. Uh, we can introduce a bass line. which plays exactly the same notes, but it's not influenced by any LFO. And the third oscillator adds just a little bit of sparkle, so let's remove oscillator one and two. So it's just, um, yeah, for the top end, basically. And a really, really cool feature of the Novation Peak is those animate buttons. What they do is um, they give you another um, modulation but only if you press the button, or if you press and hold, it holds it. Um, so you go to mod, 
and animate one in this case is modulating our resonance from the filter. So mod, um, in this case slot 3, source animate one and destination filter resonance. Amount in this case or depth 28. If you increase the depth, it can go too extreme. Let's say 40. You see, it's too extreme. So let's leave it at 28. And um, animate 2 is in this case on slot 4. And going to the FM amount um, from oscillator 1 to 2. Which sounds almost like another oscillator. But it's a frequency modulation between those two. So with the filter frequency, um, those two buttons and this trick here, you have already four parameters to perform the sound live. Um, and what I like to do is playing with the feedback of the delay as well. I turn it up. This way you can create really rich and moving textures. And um, there is a reverb as well in this patch. Or let's remove all the effects. And it sounds really boring. So we have some reverb, delay, and a little bit of chorus. Okay, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. We're releasing videos on a weekly basis. And if you want to have sounds like this recorded in perfect quality, check out the free sample pack. The link is in the description. See you next week.